Welcome back for episode 7 of Ba Hum Vlog. Alright, I'm gonna go around and find out what people do to get ready. Justin, what do you do before a show to get ready? Well, before a show, well, see, I gotta make sure my eyebrows are ready. So I gotta, like, make sure those are all set, because those have to be, like, on point. And then nice. I just, I kinda just focus and just, like, really, really make sure that I'm present. Hydrate, meditate. I like the lip sync songs on my phone in character. I center myself to the earth. I do my makeup, I do my hair, and I get mic'd. Nice. Straightforward. So welcome to... The Girls Room! Hi, Emily. What do you do to get ready for the show? Well, I always check all of my costume pieces, make yeah. sure they're all there, make sure all of the zippers work, yes. and I make sure that I'm grounded yeah. so that my mind is completely on the show. I always powder my face to make me look even more glamorous. I run through all my dances, make sure I go through them in my head. What do you do to get ready for the show, Angie? I check all my costumes, I set every single one of them up, and I try to meditate center myself so I'm like grounded to the earth. Nice. How many costumes do the girls preset before the show? Okay, so, well first of all, presetting is where we set our costumes up wherever they need to be on either side of the stage so that we can do fast changes and that kind of thing. Uh -huh. So we preset them. Um, there are... 61 presets wow. in the entire show with just the 10 of us in this room. That's amazing. And, so and then there's 77 changes that we do. Wow. So those are the different changing costumes for each of us. That's insane. 77 for the 10 of us in the wow. show. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. Thanks. Kira, what do you do to get ready for a show? I definitely preset all of my costumes. Yeah. I also set out my bobby pins and my different lipsticks for my different wig and lipstick changes. Nice. <laughs> Eat lots of food and preset all my costumes. Nice. Thank you, Kelly. In addition to presetting everything, I make sure my lipstick is perfect because I have about four lipstick changes. Okay, so now I'm going to go talk to our amazing fly dads who help bring the magic of Christmas Carol to life. Okay, so these are our fly dads. We have a fly mom, too. That's special this show. Yeah. Okay, and so there's five of you here. But only two people fly at a time, so why are there so many people needed to fly? There are four people actually needed to fly two people at the same time. One person to lift, one person to travel side to side. And Gogi, you're here too. Yes, I am. What's, what's your duty as a fly mom? As a fly, well, typically I just handle harnessing. Um, mm -hmm. Just show up doing harnessing and stand in for flying. In general, what's your favorite part of the show, flying-wise? Definitely having multiple people flying at once. Yeah. So like training-wise, how long did it take for you to learn everything? We're still learning. Still learning. <laughs> yeah. it, it took about a week to, to try to get most of the timing down. Yeah. And then after that, it's just fine-tuning. And we communicate every show. That's how it becomes seamless. Yeah. And we're trained also by the fly company that comes in for safety and security of the actors. So that's, that's yeah. our primary concern. We want to make sure everybody's safe. We appreciate it very much. All right, well, thank you guys very much. Thank you. Okay, it's time for another Who's Under the Cloak? Okay, so three clues. They are a little bit crazy, they torment Scrooge, and they are excellent tap dancers. Can you guess who's under the cloak? Three, two, one. It is Ty, Seth, Joey, and Hunter who play the elves in EDMT's A Christmas Carol. It's time for another round of Merry Mania. <laughs> on Team Jonathan, we have Ty and Joey, who play Jonathan. And on Team Emily, we have Emily and Hannah, who play Emily. Okay, okay. which country invented eggnog? <laughs> Team Emily. <laughs> Team Emily. What? Germany? Uh, incorrect. Okay. Team Jonathan, you have a chance London. to answer. No, that's not. Um, that's not a country. <laughs> the correct answer is England. What, what is Scrooge's fiance's name? Team Jonathan. Yes, that is correct. What was her name in the book? Team Emily. Correct. What are the best Christmas cookies? Team Emily. Sugar cookies? Oh, that's incorrect. Team Jonathan, no chance to guess. Christmas treat cookies. That's incorrect. The answer is the ones I make, which are chocolate chip oatmeal. Those are the best. Those are totally year round. Those are year round. What year did Charles Dickens write A Christmas Carol? Team Emily. So close. Oh, 1845. That is incorrect. We were looking for 1843. Oh my god! If I were a reindeer, which one would I be? You? Me. Not. You're not the thing. That's right. Yes. That is incorrect. So you have to guess. Comet. That is correct. <laughs> How long did loading take? You, Jonathan. Five hours. That is incorrect. Uh, but let's see what Team Emily has to offer. What? Team Emily. That is closer than five hours. It was, about, it was about 13 hours. Oh, oh wow. That's all we have time for today. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, well, that's it for episode now. seven of Bob oh, Humblog. The next episode is our last one because it's almost closing weekend, but I'll see you there.